Hi, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today I am here to show you how I created this crochet bobble on top of the What's This toddler wide brim skull cap. Now this bobble or pom-pom or whatever you would like to call it is really simple. It is constructed of 15 crochet chain loops that are all secured together at the bottom and then are attached and just stitched on to the top of the hat. And I am going to show you how I made it. We are going to start crocheting with a size H crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. This crochet project is simple enough that even if you are not a crocheter, you should be able to manage. To start off, you want to make a slip knot to start your crochet chain. You want to leave like a reasonable, reasonable length tail to help secure your bobble onto the hat um, in the end. Okay, and tighten the slip knot. And we're going to start by chaining 26 stitches too. Three, four, You know, you can change the number of stitches, um, but this should be about six inches in length, um, as we see here. Um, you can change your stitch number to get the size bobble that you want. Once you have done the first chain, you will now go and do a slip stitch into the back of the first chain from your slip knot. So insert your hook. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through, and then, and then pull that through your stitch. And we have now created the first loop. And we are going to repeat this 14 more times. So chain 26. You don't need to straighten out the loop. Um, before you secure it. You can have it twisted a bit to give it some kink and character. That's totally up to you. But so now that we've finished our second 26 stitch chain, we're going to come back to the same first loop that we had secured the last one and do a slip stitch. So now we have two loops secured. And even though you want to approximately attach each one to the first stitch, you are not, it's not absolutely essential. You can vary it a bit, um, but you want to be doing your slip stitch to this center cluster towards the bottom. We've finished the third chain and are going to attach this to this center loop with a slip stitch. There we go. And you can kind of see how the start of this little bobble will form. I'm about to secure the seventh loop and I just kind of wanted to show you the center um, that we've got here. And so you can see I've not been regularly attaching them to any one spot. And here, this time I'm going to go through two loops to try to and slip stitch to here. Just, whoops. Slip stitch through there just to try to keep it a little more regular. Um, but so now we've got seven loops. And I'm ready to make another chain. And the more you kind of mix it up a bit, you can see like they're not all separate. Some like this one goes over some of the others, but you just want to keep trying and securing and slip stitching as close to the center as you can. So I'm now ready to attach the 11th loop. And I could attach it 
you know, this way and have a loop hanging out at the bottom. Or I can go in up and over a couple loops. I can come around the bottom and do my slip stitch. Um, doing a couple up and over help give it some shape and fun texture. And you can even change your mind about what you want the bottom to be. You can be securing them at the bottom, securing them at the top, but really when you go and look, they're all secured around this one point. And that's what's important because then when you stitch it on, you will just stitch on from that center point and have your cute little crochet bubble. All right, I'm now ready to secure the 15th loop. Come in here to the center. Pull this and make my last slip stitch. All right, make that loop really big. Cut the yarn, leaving a reasonable tail. Pull through. And then, since I had decided that that's going to be the top, I'm going to use my crochet hook to just pull this loose end down to the bottom of the bobble. So there we've got it, this really cute crochet pom-pom or bobble that you can use on top of a hat. Um, and you can use it, you know, on its own like this um, with one color. You can do it in a multicolor or variegated yarn, like I did here for the top of this hat. Or you can mix up and match the colors and have a variety of different and distribute them in the center. Now for the construction, I could have had you do a magic circle and attach each of them evenly around a ring and had it been kind of, I guess, perfect. Um, but that wasn't really the look that I was going for. So, you know, we've got loops going in every direction. Some are attached to the bottom, some attached to the top. But this kind of randomness, it, which isn't really random because you're really all attaching them to one point, but that's what helps give it some fun volume. And then you can also like adjust that as you secure it to the top of the hat and based on how you sew it. Um, will help it stand differently. But in any event, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a fun crochet loop pom-pom for a hat. See you next time.